For the longest time, the assumption was there that it was going to be five seasons in Modern Warfare, or six total, given that we saw season zero, or that preseason before the first DLC, that was labeled as a season just differently. Around launch, Datamind were six total seasons with the officer challenge emblems that we have today, with the current ones being the end of that six seasons that were Datamind. So naturally, going off of some older information, it seems like we'd be at the end of that, right? But that's actually not the case, it seems, with more and more evidence pointing not only towards more coming content, but also the proof of a season six, maybe even a seven, with descriptions out there in the wild. Today, I want to talk to you about what we know for season six, the coming content you can likely see coming in just a little bit of time and all things considered. So that said, as we go along, are you looking forward to what could be now the final season in Modern Warfare, perhaps anything in particular that you're hoping to see in that installment or perhaps anything maybe you're not so much looking forward to? Whatever it is, let me know in the comments down below. And as well, if you are new to the channel, do be sure to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with all things Modern Warfare, Warzone, and of course, Black Ops Cold War, especially as you draw closer and closer to that multiplayer reveal event next week. But for now, let's jump into it. If we take a look at Modern Warfare right now, there's just over 20 days left in Season 5, but the natural question mark associated with that is now a little clearer than it was at the beginning of the season, but what happens at the end there? That countdown timer takes us to the 28th of September into the 29th, more than likely being an overnight update like we've seen in recent months, but that doesn't take us to the next game of Black Ops Cold War. That leaves us honestly with a lot of dead space between now, or rather then, and the launch of the next game. We know that the launch is November 13th for Black Ops Cold War, so we've got a lot of time. That was the first assumption, though, that we can really make and have a tangible reason for seeing another season, a season six, outside of the rumor and speculation that's been going on for a little bit of time. But with the introduction of this season's Battle Pass, the online purchase formats actually gave away intel that you'd be able to earn that 1300 COD points as you normally can just by progressing and completing that Battle Pass. But this time it said that you can use it for Season 6's Battle Pass, further confirming that reality. So that means that come the 29th, we'll see that transition into a Season 6 and what could be the final season for Modern Warfare. Likely, this will be the same scenario as Black Ops 4's Operation Dark Divide, which is still active now, actually, if you go back and take a look at it, introduced just before the launch of Modern Warfare and not too terribly updated since, or really at all, minus the update that was post-launch of Modern Warfare and retroactive to the black market, now allowing you to earn items, something we'd ask for for ages, but that's Black Ops 4. That's not the topic at hand for today. Season 6, though, could very much so follow that same pattern. Given that pattern of release and how long these seasons usually last, it take us right about to the middle or end of November, with, of course, Black Ops Cold War launching globally on the 13th of November. So you have basically the entire season to go through and then move right on into the next game, potentially then having Season 6 just last and be stagnant there the entire duration after that. Or, strangely enough, there actually are some small references to a Season 7 in the game files now added in as of recently, but nothing from what I've heard that is associated with this. It's just some placeholder data seemingly at the moment, but what content can you expect to see within Season 6? We of course have our leaks, rumors, and data mines, which as always, I unfortunately can't showcase any images or anything like that on screen without risk of copyright strikes, so we'll do our best to provide clarity through description, but also we do have an interesting solid lead that was actually teased outright by Call of Duty. And actually, let's start with that. During the ending ceremony of COD Champs, after the Dallas Empire had won the championship match, we saw that a cinematic play that took place in Warzone by Stadium, shooting off fireworks, including the Jumbotrons or large screens plastering Dallas winds everywhere, and a sort of celebratory fly-through. But in that initial bird's-eye view image, we see near the road and ravine a structure that isn't actually there in-game, but we have seen in other areas of the map, that being a Warzone subway entrance, which looks to further confirm the existence of a coming subway system. This was data mined a while ago and even again as of recently as of the Season 5 release loaded update, if my memory serves me correctly, with intel pieces pointing towards the subway system. Right now, it looks like we'll have some sort of underbelly to Verdansk, but in what capacity, we don't really know. The current rumors come in the form of two different ways, one of those being a fast travel system, which means that it could be good to get out of a bind in a situation where you could maybe just jump to a different place in the map, sort of teleporting you, but in a more realistic fashion where it enters a cutscene, maybe progresses by 30 seconds, and then maybe you're there. But unfortunately, that also means that some engagement engagements would just be entirely lost, you couldn't chase after a kill, plus you already know that that'd be such a camper's haven on the other end. You thought that the elevator shafts at the downtown skyscraper top ATC by airport were a death trap, that'd be next level. But the other rumored way this will work is that it will eventually actually add a full-on system that's explorable, adding in an entire underground system and underground playable portion of the map. 
more area of play altogether, which in and of itself, I think is not too bad of an idea, but I also like how most of the games that I've played, I haven't had to deal with heal offs. If there is an above ground and a below ground section and it's ending in that zone where players could be at both ends of that above or below ground, heal offs would definitely be something you come into contact with a lot more. And I think that in the near half year of the mode being out and over a thousand matches played, I've probably only dealt with maybe say half a dozen heal offs at the very max. I know Blackout had plenty of those, but I truly enjoy the nature of coming down to a gunfight in the wire rather than just seeing who can actually last longer in the gas. But that's stuff that was actually teased by Call of Duty. That's stuff that isn't data mined or anything leaked, but we can actually gather quite a bit out of that data mined and leaked information, to which that's where I want to transition now into talking about some stuff that, again, I can't put up on screen for you now, can't showcase those assets, but they are in the game files and do look to be coming perhaps as of season six here. So let's start out with the operator discussion. Who's going to be that flagship operator? Right now, it seems like Farah from the campaign is going to be making her way over into the multiplayer and Warzone side of things, with her also tying into what looks like the intro cinematic. Coming back, perhaps, with Nikolai is what is rumored right now as well in that cutscene. Nikolai actually being an operator. I don't think I've heard anything on that just yet. The big question, though, that I'm sure a lot of people will have is where's Soap? You have almost all of Task Force 141 minus Soap, but I think the interesting part here to me out of this is that we still don't, to my knowledge, have any indication that Soap is actually coming. It was kind of just one of those things that was inferred that eventually he'll come here with this, but to my knowledge, I don't think there's any Soap files in the game files at all, to which that would mean that he's just not coming. Maybe he's being saved for the Modern Warfare Roman numeral 2, the sequel here for the next game that Infinity Ward makes, but for right now, it doesn't seem like he's up on deck. I'd love to be wrong, but right now I just don't see that happening at the moment. As for weapons, we do know of two that seem to have some progression made to them, but also one that is brand new here introduced with this and actually is kind of far along already to which it does look like it's a season six weapon. That being the R700 and a shotgun that resembles that of the AA-12. The R700 has been in the game files for a little bit of time now. I think we first saw that back in the season four launch game files, then a little bit further in the season four reloaded. Of course, then season five rolled around. It was not in that update and we don't have it this season, but it looks like more progression has been made on the build of the weapon so that season six very likely could be a brand new sniper coming along with that launch. The AA-12 though, again, is one that came up out of this most recent build here and has some assets associated with it, but are actually pretty far along. So meaning that again, this could be that secondary weapon here in the season six drop for the launch and the content coming along with that. As for modes, we don't know of too much, except we do have some indications that maybe in the game files and actually some visual glitches that players have actually experienced themselves, the Warzone may be getting a nighttime game mode here with this, whether or not it's something where it's just at dusk, sort of how it was in Blackout when it transitioned to that sort of Halloween theme here with it. Maybe it's that sort of ambiance, that sort of environment, but maybe it's something that it's just full on at night where it's a night vision NVG mode here that comes along with Warzone. Whether or not that'd be something that's a limited time playlist like how we saw Mini Royale, or if it's something that's changed overall, we don't exactly know, but players have actually experienced this infill sequence where it takes place at night. And as of the season five reloaded update, there were game files that indicated we'd see something at night with Warzone. Loading images and such associated with it that actually confirmed that. So that'll be a cool and interesting twist here. And again, hopefully that plays out really well, but you're probably still going to see those same things that you deal with in Warzone, the excessive camping, but a lot worse probably because you're going to have those dark corners now even darker. That stuff though that was data mined, that stuff that's in the game files, of course, we'll see that all capped off with the new battle pass, new maps. Those I don't believe I've heard anything about what maps will be actually coming at season six, but we of course then we'll have those new officer challenges, which I'm actually kind of curious to see what those emblems for the rewards will be since we've known about again up until this point all the way since the launch of the game. So to see some new stuff finally added in in terms of those smaller customization items will be cool to see what comes of that. The one thing though that I do want to cap off this video with is something that may be coming within Warzone. We end up talking about how there's been that event for the reveal of Black Ops Cold War, but apparently that's not the only one still coming and there actually may be two more events on the way 
before Black Ops Cold War actually makes its way over into the public and player base's hands on November 13th. According to leaker Tom Henderson, again, two more events may be coming, and one of those may actually be that big nuke event that maybe transitions the map, maybe transitions something within Warzone, because that's been something that's been in the files for quite some time now. And it seems like with, again, that transition period from Warzone in Modern Warfare to then what would be Black Ops Cold War, that'd be a perfect time to do that, to just kind of reset everything here at that with a grand event that just makes everything go quite literally boom. So that right now is kind of speculation, not really anything that we have as definitive as these other items, but some stuff that I wanted to bring to your attention here before we wrapped up the video while talking about season six. Could be something that happens for the launch at that beginning portion here of it, maybe towards the middle or later end of season six, but it looks like something will be happening. But anyways, that's where we're gonna wrap it up. I'd love to get your thoughts and feedback down there in the comment section down below. What do you guys think of this here? Are you looking forward to season six, what it may come along with in terms of either weaponry, maps, war zone changes, whatever is feel free to let me know but hopefully enjoy the video if you did make sure you drop a like down below and of course if you are new to the channel make sure you subscribe so this a single thing regarding all things modern warfare warzone and of course black ops cold war we have that multiplayer reveal coming later next week so stick it here on the channel for everything you need to know we'll keep you up to date with all of it but said if you also want to follow me over on twitter and instagram those are the best places to get kept on youtube practically live on both those if you guys want to talk about conversation ask me a question whatever it may be that link is down there in the description below but said thanks so much for watching my name is espresso i'll see you guys later take care and peace Oh, 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 oh,